am in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at the grave site of Charles Taze Russell, who is one of the founders of the Jehovah's Witness religion, which was founded in 1872. He was a disillusioned Christian. He started studying Adventist literature and denied all the major doctrines of Christianity and basically started his own. He is considered the seventh Laodicean messenger, following in the footsteps of Paul, Waldo, John, Arius, Wycliffe, and Luther. Not in that exact order. And interestingly enough, Wycliffe and Luther were Trinitarians. Paul, I believe, was a Trinitarian too. So I'm always encouraging people to do their research on the Jehovah's Witness religion. So if you're studying with Jehovah's Witnesses or you believe that they're nice people, which a lot of them are, and they come to your door and you're interested in studying the Bible, my encouragement to you is to do your research on the history behind Jehovah's Witnesses. Because what has happened is the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society has covered up their history and they do not want you to know the truth. So just, I mean, a quick Google search on Charles Hayes Russell will bring about an immense amount of literature and reading. The end. Jesus loves you. Let's go. This pyramid was erected to honor Charles Taze Russell. And here some will say that this is a symbol of the Knights of Templar. And that it's a masonry symbol. It is a fact that Charles Taze Russell was involved in pyramidology. If you're studying with the Jehovah's Witnesses, the main point that I always try and emphasize is if God, if Jesus has chosen this people group, the Bible students, in 1914 as the only group to teach truth, yet if you look back to what Charles Hayes Russell taught, it was occultism, it was pyramidology, and again I'm going to list those books in the info bar hopefully, because if this is God's organization, if it is truly guided by Jehovah, then there shouldn't be occultism taught for 35 years and then lied about and covered up to where Jehovah's Witnesses do not know about it today. On this side of the pyramid, it says, Risen with Christ. And my encouragement to you today is not just to look into the history and the occultism of the Jehovah's Witness religion, but also to consider Jesus Christ as a human being. And not just a human being, but as God Almighty. And I know that for Jehovah's Witnesses, it's very hard to embrace the fact that Jehovah came down as a human being to die for your sins. But he did do this, and Jesus Christ did claim to be God. And that might be something that's totally hard to accept, but he claimed to be God, and he did it because he loves you, and he cares about you, and he doesn't want you to be punished eternally for your sin. So are you risen with Christ today? Has your identity been changed? Have you gone from lost to found, sinner to saint? Are you living with him, walking holy and blameless? Because those things are possible, and there are promises for you in the New Testament if you were to look into it. Where are we? We're at, we're in Pittsburgh. Should I say Pittsburgh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> North Pittsburgh. Yeah, we're in. I think this is like. Okay. Ross. Okay, whatever. Okay. <laughs> I don't know.